Hello all, I am Pallavi Bujbal, working as an assistant professor in the Department of Computer Engineering at AISSMS Institute of Information Technology. I welcome you all for this session. So we are going to see a new topic that is link state protocol link state routing in previous lecture we have seen DVR distance vector routing so before going to start with link state routing I will explain you little bit what is the difference between link state routing and the distance vector routing here so when we are using DVR we are circulating entire routing table to nearest neighbor but when we are using link state routing we will send only the link state information to the nearest neighbor that is the main difference between that two routings so what is the main aim to use LSR link state routing is to find the optimum path shortest path from one node to every other node in the network so the basic concept of link state routing is that every node construct a map of connectivity to the network in the form of graph showing which node are connected to which other nodes each node then independently calculate the next best logical path for it to every possible destination in the network so this is the LSR which we are using to forward the shortest path from one node to every other node in the network this is the LSR so the LSR using discuss cross algorithm to execute this whole process so there are two phases in this LSR first is reliable flooding and the second will be one is route calculation route calculation we are using these two phases in our LSR so first before going to start we I will explain you the meaning of flooding what is the meaning of flooding we will see here so in this lecture I will cover phase first that is reliable flooding so here one of ex one example for the flooding if we see the meaning of flooding is after it find out its link state information it will flood that information to the entire network that is the flooding if we see here this is the source and the destination is given here so that source sending some packet over a router suppose we labeled with r1 r2 okay. r2 r4 r5 like this r6 and r7 suppose that source node is sending some packets over the r1 router that r1 will flood that packet all over the network all over the router to transmit that packets over the destination so in flooding after getting the details of link state information that R1 will send flood all this all the packets all over the network it means that packet will go from three different path first if we choose R1 to R2 R2 to R3 and R3 to R5 then we will get the destination at the same time R1 also sending their packets on R4 to R5 and then we will get the destination similarly that R1 also flood the packets on R6 
our seven will get the our destination where our find so this is the flooding after it find it find out its ls least link state information it will flood that information to the entire network that is the flood flooding so this is clear then you will see the actual reliable flooding yes here yes so phase 1 is clear in in second phase root calculation the root calculation using the disk grass algorithm so there are two phases phase 1 is flooding and the second one is calculation so the root calculation we will see in the next part of the lecture so here we will go with the first phase that first phase reliable flooding find out the link state and it will link state information flood across the network ok and the second one second phase it is used the disk grass algo to do the find out the shortest path first we will see the link state topology here ok so this is the example suppose for example if you have the network like this so this is the network in which we are including uh, six nodes yes so we have network like this here if we see here a node A which is connected to C and B directly yes which is connected to C and B E and here you have F also so A is connected to C then B B E and here we have F so all six nodes has been connected and the links links been associate with the cost yeah. here the cost is given with their associate with links also so now do you find out the link state link state is nothing but the information regarding the node nearest neighbor and the cost involved in the connecting to that neighbors also suppose if we see here that node a yes that node a that node A can reach B and C yes B and C with the cost 3 and 2 which you write here the cost of A to B is 3 and A to C is 2 ok so there is the link state information for table for node A ok same for C, the link state information is C can reach up to A, yes, A, A, F and D node directly with the cost, with the cost, two, one and two. So, the cost of C to A is two. C to F is 1 and C to B is also 2. So, this is the link state information of node C. For E can reach with node D, node B and node F. Yes. Yeah. With the cost involved that is 4, yes, 4. 3 and 2. So, when we are traveling from B to from E to B the cost is 4 from E to D cost is 3 and D to F they are connected directly is 2. For F we are directly connected to C and 2. It means we can reach C and E. With the cost written here, F to C is 1 and F to E is 2. So, yes, uh, for the D also the same, we are uh, directly connected with when we are using the D, D node, that D is connected to C, E, A and B, yes. So, the cost is, D's cost is 2, 5, 
two, three, three. I will write here. Two, three, five, and one. Same for B. So B is reach to A, E, D with the cos three, four, and one. So cos is nothing but the distance. Yes. So all the links has been associated with their cost. So there is link state information instead of sending the entire routing table, is entire writing a routing table. Here it will send only the nearest neighbor information across the entire network. So A get link state information of B, C, D, E, F, like C will get the link state information of A, D, B, E, F. All every node will find out link state information. It will flood the entire network with their information. So there is the first process. Is that clear? So this is nothing but sharing the link state information with their neighbor node. So this was the first phase of link state routing here. So in next lecture, I will explain the discrete stars algorithm in for which we are using only the shortest path. To find the shortest path, we are using discrete stars algorithm here. Okay, thank you.